Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our returning listeners, and welcome if this is your first time listening. We're so happy to have you all with us today. Thank you for joining us for the 19th episode of the Lion Pride Cast, a podcast created by the Lansing Unified School District 469, located in Lansing, Kansas. The purpose of this podcast is to inform our Lansing stakeholders, being our community members, students, and staff about all things education. We are your hosts. I am Miles Azza, Director of Teaching and Learning in Lansing USD 469. And I am Sharon Burns, the Director of Communications and Marketing. So to jump right in, we are so excited today to have our Director of Special Education, Mrs. Ascender Donald, with us today. And this is our first guest that actually works with us here in the office, in the district office. It is. So thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Yay. Um, Ascender, we're going to jump right in, and I think it's best for our listeners to know a little bit about your background, your experiences, where you've worked, and, and how long you've been here and stuff like that. So jump in. Okay, excellent. So I have a pretty unique background just with Lansing School District as a whole. I was here for four years, five years ago as a school psychologist, and then I left and went to Blue Valley for four years and worked as a school psychologist, but I was only working with early childhood students. And so then the opportunity presented itself for me to come back to Lansing. And so last year I was the coordinator of special education slash building principal for early childhood. And this year uh, have accepted and have been trying my best at the position as special education director um, for Lansing School District. Trying your best. Trying my best. And and killing it. You're doing great. (laughs) Thank you. Amazing. Happy you're here. Um, So can you explain the different facets of special education um, and highlight maybe some programs as well? Sure. So that is a great way to say it. Special education is multifaceted. We have a ton of things going on. Uh, We support students all the way from ages 3 to 21. So we have um, early childhood programming, um, but then within that, we support different areas of disability. So we work with students with mild to moderate learning disabilities, uh, support students with behavioral challenges, students that may have been diagnosed with autism, um, and then some of our low incidence areas, such as um, various um, things that you don't see as often, such as trying to think of some to highlight, but just kind of the lower incidence um, disabilities that may arise. And then, um, of course, students that have graduated by age, but that we determined that they still need to work towards um, developing skills in certain areas. So they can attend actually until they're 21, which is our LINCS program that continues Mm -hmm. to support them as well. Yeah, I love the LINCS program. It's also the intermediate school. Yes. And um, they get the cookies. Mm -hmm. And have the coffee cart. Uh-huh. And, really cool. and they just had a plant sale yes. also that did very well slash yeah. crafts. And so yeah. we were able to kind of buy some things, uh, you know, from them to sc- continue to support that program. Uh-huh. So you did a great job. Do a great job. In Johnson. Yes. It's really, really wonderful. So, yeah. I think the Lynx program really quick is a perfect example of uh, nothing warms my heart when I tell people, because I have friends that work in other districts, mm-hmm. um, about things that we have. And they're like, ooh. Can, how do how do we get something like that or who do I talk to and yeah. anytime I've brought up the links program like and there's multiple districts that don't have that um, and they're really interested like how can I get that up and running so I love that we have that yeah. Yeah, yeah they have the same responsibility as we do to continue to support the students but how it looks in different districts can just be a variety of ways and kind of how they're able to incorporate so let them know reach out and yep. we can collaborate no need to spin the wheel and figure it out exactly <laughs> well, another thing i think it's cool so i went to weston a couple of weekends ago okay. in the farmer's house there oh yes Have we I go there the farmer's house? Absolutely. Yes, so the students go there and help stock the shelves and all that it's really neat so we went in mm-hmm. and supported and i bought some stuff there so yeah, yeah so yeah, our yeah, listeners no. go to farmer's house and weston, our students I, I really like how sharon asked like is, is that right farmer's house looked at me and immediately was like he doesn't know and then look over at <laughs> you true. like <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was they, like farmer's house. Yeah, well, house of the prairie. We, we talking about? Of, we do a lot of things with them. Actually, our functional uh-huh. programs also take uh, trips out during the uh-huh. year to support them, and we're looking to do the same during our extended school year summer program as well. Okay, that's awesome. It is. So let's say a parent, Cassandra, thinks okay. that their child may qualify for special education. I feel like I'm interviewing you right now like for an interview <laughs> job. Now, <laughs> I'm going to throw you a curveball here. Okay. So we'll see if you're ready. Uh, but let's say they think they qualify for special education services, and it could be because they're struggling in an area, aren't getting challenged enough, whatever, whatever it may be. How would they go about getting their child identified as needing services here in Lansing? Sure. I think a great place to start is to talk to your student's teacher and school building team to see if they have the same concerns. I don't think a lot of people know or understand how many things are actually happening within the school system whenever we see a concern at any time whether and it could be on both sides they're concerned or they're excelling well above and need more um 
that we do a lot of things before they have to come to special education. So through our MTSS system and structure, we support the students to help them progress. We meet them where their need is and provide that intervention throughout. Um, so those things are happening kind of ongoingly. So if you have a question or concern, talk to your teacher and they can let you know where they are in that process, the, the progress that they're making or lack thereof. And SPED comes around when there's been a lack thereof. And so as if the student isn't progressing as we think they should, then we move forward with the special education evaluation to determine a variety of things. Um, one thing that I really miss from um, being a school psych is learning how people learn. And so through the evaluation process, I can tell you what type of learner you are, whether it be auditory, whether it be visual or other ways. And so with that information, we can tell you, hey, in the classroom, present the information such that this is how they learn better or they may not respond as well to this structure or that type of thing. So I, that's one thing I really miss is the little bitty things about what makes this student most successful. Can you talk a little bit about child find? Because that does get the students that are yes. very young before they hit the system, really. Yeah, yeah. but and, and that's maybe a misconception, too. Child find, um, we'll, you, we hear it a lot in our district as mm -hmm. in, and what that means. Let me start over by saying what that means. It's a legal requirement that we have that says that we must identify students that have a disability. Mm -hmm. And so if, um, and provide their services or therapy, or um, I really call special education teacher services therapy for academic skills um, but we have we have a responsibility to find them and provide those services and so early childhood is where we hear about it a lot we have our child find screenings that occur monthly and so that's where it's common knowledge but that is that goes from um, 3 to 21 that we are responsible for finding children to make sure they have what they need okay thank you for explaining yeah. that and so we have a calendar on the website that we post so every it's doing very hour monthly and i know the june one got moved i'm going to be yes. creating an article about that soon so um yeah so you can if you're a parent that um, wants to look into that it's on the website for child find just search it so, so clarification okay. question because misconception and okay. I, I like to always when i don't know something find out the, uh, more information so child find does that happen for all grade levels or is that only for early child okay, all so grade levels all grade levels mm -hmm. monthly uh -huh. yeah. got it yep goes into that um how do you what do you do when in, when there's a concern we find kids throughout their okay. school experience great so we really have a system set up mm -hmm. sorry to ask any questions but mm -hmm. a system set up to really protect with something i hear a lot of times of like students slipping through the cracks correct yeah. That. Okay, so you've worked with as a school psych mm -hmm. and collaborated with SPED directors, but do many of them have school psychology as their background and how has that set you apart from the rest? It varies. I, I see a combination. I do see a lot of special education directors who were school psychs in the past, but not always. That doesn't have to be the path that um, people take. Um, I really do feel like it prepared me. It, it tends to lend itself to because I have a have had the years of understanding what an evaluation is, understanding what it takes to qualify for special education services. What are special education services and how is that different from a 504, a student who doesn't quite meet the eligibility for special education but still needs accommodation. So just kind of what I've learned throughout the years from different um just cases or situations um it's a great foundation not a requirement but i think everything that i've done before this prepared me for for this current position all right and then real talk okay. so you were a school psychologist yeah. oh it's under space she's like whoa okay <laughs> of all the rocky movies which one no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding that'll you, be for later you don't uh, know. I, okay. I don't know if i uh, no, stop stop oh Sandra. all you have to do just mm. No, no words on we'll, that one. We'll wait, we'll just, wait. <laughs> oh man, you can't do that to someone I like me. I'm now I'm done. Where are we doing today? Is this the Rocky podcast? So, in all seriousness, no. Okay. I, uh, you were a school psych at Blue Valley, like yes. you said, and um, Lansing, obviously, uh -huh. and then and and you've continued up to where you are now. How do we compare with Blue Valley when it comes to spend services? Like in terms of like your background with it. Do we have a pretty good system in place? Oh, absolutely. You, okay. Absolutely. Special education is, um, an IEP is a legal document. Mm -hmm. So what you put in there, what you have determined is a need for that student to be successful, we have to provide that doesn't matter where you are. Okay. Um, I know Blue Valley kind of has like this being above the rest um, type of thing. 
I, I would say that we're all in there together. Oh, okay. I like that. I prefer the competition. Part, oh, okay. But that's all right. Take that, Blue Valley. We got a Sendra. All right. And for our listeners, an IEP is an individualized education plan. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, no, 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 um, so some people don't realize that gifted services are a part oh, of special yes. education. Um, and that, you know, I was, I don't know if you know this, but I was a para in the gifted room. Julie, you, you told me for, that before. Yes. Yeah. And I loved it. So can you explain why that, um, why gifted is part of special yes. ed and what services are provided to those students. Yes, and that does vary um, from state to state. Um, mm-hmm. Gifted is uh, considered special education in some and not in others, and we are one that it does. And um, I, I think that's a great idea just because it helps us. They're, they have different needs, right. but they have a need that may not be addressed in normal ways. And so this just is, is an additional way to hold us accountable mm-hmm. for their progress. And so um, what was, I missed maybe what your question was as I was explaining um, it a little bit. Just you ask why and then uh-huh. what services are provided to those students. Yeah. So it's very individualized and it looks a little bit different at each grade level, but it is the opportunity to provide them more enrichment opportunities. They get to be in a classroom with other gifted students and they work on higher order problem solving activities. Mm-hmm. Um, as they get a little bit older, they get to maybe decide what their services look like a little mm-hmm. bit more um, as to how it will help them progress and meet their own personal goals. Right. Yeah, when in, at the high school level, um, we have students that take advanced studies. Yes. Those. So that's, you know, they get to pick what they want to learn. And it was amazing the stuff the students did. Um, and we also, you know, I don't think people realize gifted, there's a lot of anxiety that goes up oh, yeah. students because they have this really high intelligence, but maybe not the emotional capacity. Yes. So, you know, oh, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I, I can say that uh-huh. and yeah. the teachers are there to support them and mm-hmm. and we can manage what type of maybe they need a little social group to kind of talk right. about that and right. work through the challenges and connect them with resources too right yeah. love that um so you've had a chance to meet and talk with our incoming superintendent marty copza yes um can you talk about what you're most excited about with him coming in um and it has, doesn't have to necessarily be related to special education but what are you excited about after meeting him and and a chance to for having a new superintendent. Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm looking forward to it. Um, the thing that I'm most excited about, he I listens, think, by is... The way, so. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> let me make sure I uh, say the right thing. Um, his experience. Okay. Um, someone who has done this, and I can't remember exactly, but it was 20-something years that he has been in a superintendent role. 22? That's 22. Uh, that that's huge. In my head, but I don't know if that's exactly right. Yeah, that's a lot of experience. Yep. And... Um, and you'll see maybe why I say that kind of with something I'll talk about a little bit later, but um, you've learned a lot um, through that and you've learned some what to do's, some what not to do's. And so I look forward to the opportunity to learn from and with um, him as we go through the things that we'll, you know, face here in Lansing together. I don't know if you listen to his episodes that he did. Yes. Um, he has uh, assured me that he will not tackle us if you do okay. anything wrong. So in case you're worried about I, that. I didn't know until listening to that he had been a linebacker, so that's good yeah. Good to know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had a feeling. I was like, I don't know. He played some sort of defensive position. Then he said linebacker. And uh-huh. I was like, oh. But he's assured us that we'll right. be okay. So we can still <laughs> strive to be the best and, and you know, fail sometime. He will not Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. 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 you might not be able to, they can't tackle us but i don't know if you can keep me in line either just for the record so that's been a hard thing to do but all right go ahead um, so we've been attending career fairs to recruit teachers mm-hmm. um, right out of college and are encouraging them to listen to our podcast yes yeah, uh, yeah to hear and get to know the possible future leaders of our build of um, their building or their department for said uh-huh. um so how would you sell lansing to college students who are pursuing uh Education, specifically special education, as a career. Yes, um, it is truly a great place to be, and it is really hard to describe if you haven't experienced it yourself. But there's a reason why I came back, you know, from being here in the past, and a part of that reason was I didn't. When I left, it wasn't because anything had gone wrong. It was just simply I live out of town, um, so it was just okay. If I can work closer to home, let me just see if I can work closer to home and childcare and all that kind of thing. It just was what I needed to do at the time, um, and I have through the years been a person that um, the previous administ- sped administration would contact me to talk to others um, who were considering Lansing because 
I've always said it's a great place to be. The um, the staff that you work alongside, the families that you support, the students that you serve every day, it is just a great place to be. And we have a great reputation out there because we do provide high quality special education services. And so people come to Lansing for that. And um, I just think that everybody should come and experience it for themselves. Yeah. Well said. Yeah, take, we take that you with us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> At least that recording. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're uh, a perfect like, person and, and guest to um, kind of encapsulate the reason that we do this podcast, mm-hmm. which is to provide our listeners with new information they yeah. might not know about. What are some ways that you grow and become, you know, a way a, a person who learns more about information they don't know about? Um, the one thing that I do is um, attend conferences. So every opportunity that I get, and there are just a ton out there and available for different topic areas, it's out there. I know that means time away and money for different things, but if you have the opportunity, I would encourage people because that's where I feel like I've learned the most is um, not just from the content that you get. You know, there's always the um, keynote that will give you that information of kind of that, okay, let's go ahead and move forward with these um, things, Um, but it's also the what's the right word, not collaboration. It is the um, opportunity to network um, with other um, people that are doing this with you alongside and you get to learn from them. So conferences have been kind of my (laughs) go-to in that area. Excited to go to USA Kansas. Yes, we're going together. Yes, Yes. we are. (laughs) Yes, we've heard really good things about that conference Uh and it's going to be good for all of us. Marty's coming as well. I love my first conference to get to go. Oh, is it? There's not a lot of Yes. Yes, I've gone to several, and I love the USA Kansas um, magazine that they put out every Uh month. It always has a really good information in there too. That sounds familiar. That magazine. Why does that sound familiar, Mm -hmm. Sharon? I had an. Oh, you did? I did. She won. Yeah. You got an article in there yeah, last year. Just, it must yeah. have been last year. It was. Okay, you legitimately I won. Hard. You got submitted just and selected for it. Well, that's what selected, <laughs> winning. <laughs> same book. Same word. Sweet spot. We think you're awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is. There it is. Um, so the topic of one of our first podcasts was this, I believe. Uh-huh. Um, and we always ask each of our guests what their this, I believe statements uh-huh. are. So it would be a personal one and a professional okay. one. Can you talk about Sure. I believe statements are. Um, let's see. So personal, women start there. Sure. Yeah, okay. that's a great place to start. Um, I think that for me personally, like I don't have family in town either because um, I also live in a different state than what my family is in. And so family is very important to me. That's kind of my foundation and that type of thing. Um, but just to kind of think about a philosophy that I kind of take on in life is um, – seeing mistakes as mistakes and that's how you learn right and it's not a bad thing if if i never uh, made a mistake i would never learn from it and i would keep doing things possibly the wrong way (laughs) (laughs) because i think it's right so so that is one thing that i kind of live by personally is just okay let me try (laughs) and if that didn't work let me try again (laughs) fail early fail often right right Mm -hmm. my kids are a bit of so I'm constantly trying to help oh. them with that. Uh-huh. I thought you were uh-huh. saying they were perfectionists at failing. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, ouch. <laughs> no, they struggle with not trying things because they're afraid they're going to fail. And it's, and it, yeah. you know, you miss I've been on. there, though. Yeah, I, I have right. definitely been there. When I was younger, I, my dad did, did – I probably shouldn't share this, but my dad did a really um, – Nothing you say simple... could be worse than you not seeing the Rocky movie. Okay. okay. So don't got worry. Got You're it. good. Go. Like, because I was kind of a perfectionist, too, as a uh-huh. kid. And so he made me – like, they used to keep this huge jar, jar of coins – Mm-hmm. And um, he made me like count them until I made a mistake because he's like, I have to show oh. you that you too yeah. can make a mistake. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> like else and it is fine. So I've just kind of taken that with me. Yeah, and Love tried. It. yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so what would your professional be? Oh, professional, um, or would it be the same? I mean, it'd be the same. It, it could, could, it yeah, could be, but but kind of what what I was thinking is that it, it, if I want to relate it to special education, since mm-hmm. that's what I do and I live. I don't like the terms, and and this may sound weird, I don't like the term of learning disability. Mm -hmm. I prefer learning difference. Okay. Everybody has the um, ability to learn. Just because I learn in a different way doesn't mean I'm disabled. It is just that I learn differently. I may need to hear it again. Mm-hmm. Isn't that okay? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I may need to. Uh, I may need you to write that down for me. 
that is okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so that, I don't, like I said, it might just be weird to say, oh, we got a SPED director who doesn't like learning disability, but we all learn just in different yeah. ways. And isn't that great? Yes, it is. Oh my God, Cassandra, that's like so amazing. I love that. When I was a reading uh, interventionist in KCK, we used to call our readers who were, the term was struggling readers, okay. but we didn't like it. So yeah. we changed it to striving readers. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love we, that. We liked it. Just, just yeah. that little, yes. that little change on the word. Uh, just to make it a little more positive. Change that perception mm -hmm. of it for exactly. everybody involved. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. great that you, I, I think that's fantastic. Yeah. It's thing. hard mm -hmm. for me to talk about because I almost tear up, <laughs> you yeah. know, just kind of think We haven't had anyone it. cry yet in the podcast. Oh, okay. so go I ahead don't want to be the first. Nope, I don't, nope. uh -uh. Uh -uh. We can't finish the year without one person crying. Oh, I'm going to no. make it be Go for it, Ascendra. Oh, yeah. Episode. Yeah, I already, okay. Yeah. Okay, I won't make you cry. What were you going to say, though? Unless you think you're going to tear up. But just to go along with that, have you all seen kind of that infographic that picture model of the equity versus equality yes i have I love and that the one, the, one where the they're boxes, standing the boxes and trying to look game. over the at the baseball game on the i guess mm -hmm. the what do they call those little the boxes they were standing on yeah. to see over mm -hmm. clear mm -hmm. example of of what it means of how we just all need different things right exactly yeah. what's the there's no problem with that and and we should all have access to it and that's kind of kind of my goal is to ensure that all the students in our districts district has access to their their education in whatever way they should you do a fantastic job with thank you. you yeah you do all right so now for the fun uh -oh. portion of our podcast you ready okay. yes um <laughs> All right, but, but before we jump in, I have to try to, I am sorry. I, and I'm sorry I've been glaring oh, at you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's just, okay. you, so you literally have never seen any of the Rocky movies. I, I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself. Also, don't lie. Okay. So you've I, not seen I, any I, of the I Rocky movies. I won't lie. I, I may have, you, you know, they, have. they re, replay it, reruns kind of come on. I may have stopped once. What does that mean? I don't even know. You stopped what? I may stopped have working stopped, to watch it? stopped what I was doing and didn't have anything to do possibly and watched it because hey, it so, was on. You're making a lot have to happen there. Like I had nothing going on. We were snowed in. Uh, the oh internet gosh. was out. It just wasn't and my it, first I couldn't choice. find the remote. I love the <laughs> new ones. The Creed. The Creed. So you've seen those? I, I haven't seen the latest one. Okay. But I've seen one and two. How do you understand any of the storyline? I mean, see I it. get it. You don't get, no, you don't. I'm telling you, you, don't get it. If you don't know who I, Drago is, I don't. So you don't get it. Okay, all right. I'm, have you seen Back to the Future at least? Oh my God. This is turning. You know what's so Maybe funny? Maybe same thing. Maybe just, just stop. Just, oh, Cedra, I love you. Need to go home after this. You and Marty are going to get along great. Let okay. me tell you, you guys are going to get along just great. Well, if you've listened to our three, uh, you know, three of the four guests, okay. um, we played a fun trivia game, and we paired them against college students we met from different career fairs. So, okay. Cedra, you are going to be competing against oh, uh, Delaney. Armbuster. Okay. Is that her name? Arm, Armbuster. Armbuster. Strong name. And we are going to also email her and make sure she will see if she needs a job still. Because uh, I like that name. Who we interviewed at the Emporia State Career Fair. Okay. okay. So this was on March 1st. It's such a really funny story, but I won't, I won't, I won't ruin the, the podcast with the story, but maybe okay. in our last episode. Yeah. Um, so here it is. We're going to ask you the question, right? Actually, I'm sorry, Sharon. You can explain it. Uh, yeah. So we're going to ask you the same question that we asked her. Okay. It's a fun trivia question. And you're going to compete against her to see who can name the most of something. Okay. Okay. We're going to give you the topic in a minute. Okay. It's not not even in a minute. We're going to do it here in the next few seconds. Okay. Yeah. You got this. And you got the yes. timer? You got to do the I timer? I got the timer. Well, you know what? Can you do, do your I, I, No, I will go grab it and do the timer. Oh, no, no. So. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I, got it. Okay. I had the that. audio clip ready, too, for the next one. So, okay. You got 15 so seconds. Fifth... I'm going to tell you while you're, while I'm doing this, it's going to be Hold on, wait, name. Wait. Wait, you're going to tell her? In the... kind of... I will tell you. You kind of favor our, our, our guests. Because you're always like, all right. We so did I'm that with her too while we were getting the timer set up. Did we? We did. Okay. Yeah. You say so. It's going to be the, as many board games as you can. Okay. In 15 seconds, okay? And you're not even stop. on the stopwatch. All right. I'm... Okay. Yes. Girl, Sandra's okay. like, yeah, keep talking. <laughs> okay. No, I'm trying to think. Ready? Okay. 15 seconds on one thing. I Usually I put the micro my phone up to somebody. Sharon, got you've the now effectively <laughs> given her 45 seconds. So you better I name like 39. Have, I don't Here have many. Okay, ready? 15 <laughs> seconds. Okay. Monopoly. Stop. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ed, start. Okay. Monopoly, Rummy Cub, or Cube. Uh, I'm terrible. I can't think of anything else, literally. They name a bunch of them Rocky movies. It's too bad. <laughs> I missed it. Now, you, now, she's now I don't know. Her, we're going to give you a few more seconds. Go. Okay. 
I don't know anything. <laughs> I promise you. Would you say that you feel sorry for not watching the Rocky movie? Sorry. <laughs> I was literally going to say sorry. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Just like naming all. Of them. Okay. Sorry, sorry in sorry. life. Sorry in life. Yes. Life's a good one. Yeah. All right. I think that we're going to probably just because we've given you a minute and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Say I, I, say I so didn't win. to make you feel better. Every one of our admin have lost against our public okay. recruits. So you will join that list. All right. Because That's right. here That's we go. Right. You're going to play it? Yes. Okay. Here we go. go we've already place. given here it now. away. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Here it is. Sorry, Monopoly. Um, trouble. Um, Parcheesi. Um, ah, um, I can't checkers chess. Um, I'll take, I'll take both those. Time. I can't think of easy ones I couldn't think yeah, of. I, I, <laughs> All right, so Delaney got six. And yes. Ascendra, unfortunately, we're going to say you got probably four, okay. I would say, give I'm or sorry. take on there. No, so no I really have to say, though, you should feel really happy. So I don't know if you've listened to the previous episode, but Sharon put on here. And the winner is Blood. It was uh -huh. the student. Well, and it wasn't Brooks. We yeah, already know why. We already know yeah. why. It was, it was, yeah, but it I'd was just. written it that she was going to win. So she's, yeah, it was already over. And I was like, whoa, you didn't even give the poor guy a chance. But this <laughs> one she wrote. Well, he did well. He did nine to eight. Oh, um, yeah. She did write this time. I hope Ascendra is our first admin to win. Oh, I did. I I'm, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. But you're not. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's okay. Karma for not we watching the Rocky movies. <laughs> All right. So Delaney got six, but uh, job, valiant effort. And Delaney, great job. Buster. Arm Buster. Please come and work with us. Miss yes. Arm Buster. <laughs> that's awesome. And she's PE. <gasps> oh, which is awesome. even better. She can do like weightlifting. Is that I, know. I know. All right, guys. We're busting our arms. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. All right. I think I would say that is a perfect way or a less than perfect way to wrap up the episode of the line <laughs> ride guys uh as always for more updates and stories on lansing usd 469 you can visit us at www.usd469.net and before you go sharon yes, i wanted, i was oh, yeah, go i was gonna do I'm just gonna great say, minds thank you, Sandra. oh Wait, thank you i was gonna stop and just say <laughs> yeah because i feel bad i didn't say you to say that so yeah, thank no. you Sandra. thanks yeah, for having just me mad at you because of rocky oh so sorry say back to the future. yeah <laughs> when i say thank you i mean like this was awful i wish that we didn't do it <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're, like, okay, you're wonderful. I'll, I'll, you know you're wonderful. I'll get them all taken care of this summer. We, we need to have a Back to the Future night with Marty. Yeah, we do. Either, and his name is Marty. Like, I mean, come on. He's so going to go nuts. I, I would do anything to watch Back to the Future for the first time well, ever. We do that on Friday because Friday's in the summer. You know, we do... Oh, you know, that could be fun. In the boardroom. There yeah. we go. Okay. I have an idea. Yep. Okay, <laughs> okay. So Love it. If you don't already have it, download the Freelancing USD 469 mobile app on Apple and Android. That app allows you to be the first to know about all the fantastic things happening in our district. And if you like our content want to stay up to date on the latest episodes, please follow us wherever you are listening to us and leave a review to help others find us and learn more about our great district. We are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, YouTube, SoundCloud Radio, or SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, <laughs> CastBox, Stitcher, and Pocket Cast. Pocket Cast, our favorite. And if you would like to be a guest on the podcast, please send us an email at sharon.burns at usd469.net. And that is a wrap on number 19. We have one more to go this school year. 19 one more. episodes. Yep. going to have 20 in one year. Yep. Woo. Thanks for listening. Bye. <laughs>